here on Naked Chef Sandra. Here today, I'm making uh, keto rolls since my boyfriend is on a special diet. And um, they are like gluten free flour rolls. So, my recipe says uh, you can have one and a half cups of blanched almond flour, or you, you can use uh, the half a cup for coconut flour. Um, and let's see. Four, four, Damn. Okay. Mmm, hopefully this will be a good. So let's see, it calls for a cup and a half of blanched almond flour. And I put it right here. Um, so I'm using like a half a cup measurement so it fits easier into my bag. And I'm just going to grab it in there. I'll just use the bag method where I scrape it off with the side of the bag. And here it says um, to mix all your dry ingredients first until they're like well blended. And there's almond flour. And since I come in half, I think like I want to do um, some coconut flour. But I'm concerned. If, like, I do use a half a cup of coconut flour, I'd have to use more eggs, and I only have three eggs. I don't have four. So, maybe... Hmm. Maybe I'll use, like, a little bit of coconut, of almond flour, and then fill the rest of the cup with the coconut flour. So, I'll do maybe just a little under half. Yeah. There we go. And then use this coconut one. So I use part coconut flour, part almond flour, and I just um, started boiling water. Okay. And it's boiling, so you want boiling water going. You want to heat your oven to 350 degrees before you do anything. Sorry about that. And then we're going to have, um, two teaspoons of baking powder. And it also says that, um, if your buns come out of the oven, um, and then deflate, to use maybe a teaspoon and a half instead of two full teaspoons and um, I am just gonna do like how about three quarters of a teaspoon so we'll go in between and see how that works there's that and then um, a teaspoon of sea salt I'm gonna pour it over the sink here And so I'm just going to like lightly mix them up together or whatever until they just blend in. And then, um, it calls for, let's see. So then you, um, 
add the eggs in the vinegar and mix until they're a thick dough. And I'm going to do three eggs. Um, it calls for two eggs if you do um, two whole eggs if you do the almond flour version. And, or like three, four whole eggs if you do the coconut flour version, which is the one cup almond flour and um, half a cup coconut flour. But I'm just going to do three eggs. Um, the original recipe, I guess, to be, I don't know if it's more keto or what, because I thought yolks were like protein and they were keto anyway, so I don't know. But um, they are... Uh, Say that um, you they want you to use three egg whites, I guess, to maybe be healthier. I'm not sure, but um, I'm using three eggs, whole eggs instead, and we'll see how that turns out. It might be okay. And then uh, they want um, two and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So here's my tablespoon. And these little fancy uh, measuring spoons that um, I have that are multi-sized are from Pamper and Chef. Here's one. Oops, here's two. And I have it on this um, on this measure like the uh, it doesn't say half a teaspoon. It says like one and a half teaspoons or two teaspoons or two and a half teaspoons. One and a half teaspoons is a half a tablespoon um, because it's three tablespoons or three teaspoons of um, that make a um, tablespoon. And I don't know where my spoon is. It's somewhere in here. It's somewhere in here. to cause the thick dough and um, then let's see where it goes and have some um, water that's ready that you've boiled so I want some boiling water um oh there's one thing that I forgot and it wants five tablespoons so this is um psyllium husk powder you want the powder not the whole husk and it asks for five tablespoons of that because it's like a fibrous um thing and it is acts like a binder to um uh may, i guess it uh, makes everything bind together um three Four. Oh, probably. It probably like, just makes the bread better. I don't know. Okay. So there's that. We have five tablespoons of the psyllium husk powder. And I'm stirring it with the rest of the dough. And then, so why you need boiling water is because they want you to have seven eighths of a cup of boiling water just under a uh, whole cup so if you just use like a whole cup um, measuring cup um, and then just like dip a, a tablespoon in it a couple of times like two tablespoons is an ounce and that's basically an eighth a cup so that's what I'm gonna do kind of and uh, are you stirring the water? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Where is my measuring cup? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to pour this over the sink, make sure I don't get burned or anything. Okay, so I poured the whole cup. And I'll take out two tablespoons where I'm going to put it. Yeah. One. And a little extra because that looks like a lot. So, there's that. And then you add it. And you just stir it until like a firm dough um, forms up. Because I think the psyllium powder will thicken it. And uh, so then if it seems like it's not thick enough, um, you can add more flour to it. Um, but it seems like it's thickening up pretty good. I would assume that the psyllium husk powder um, has something to do with that. Um, because it's a, like a fibrous, so I would think that it's like a binder. So this dough has formed, and you want to form it. This is like a sub roll recipe but i think i'm just going to use it like as regular roll shape it into regular rolls um and uh see how it turns out but um yeah uh this says it's like the best keto recipe for rolls i guess so i'm gonna believe them and now my dough is really Thick, and it's getting hard to stir and then it says to form it into four or five mini subs so instead I'm going to form it into rolls and this dough isn't like bread dough it's kind of like cookie dough so then I'm going to I don't know where any of my spatulas are has a spatula Take a spatula and scrape down the sides and get everything formed together. Yeah, so see, it's kind of like a cookie dough. Um, and yeah, you just have to like form it as a, I guess like a cookie or something, but like in the shape of a roll. So what I'm going to do, it says, um, let's see, one. Yeah, that's calm. And then, let's see. Okay, so maybe we'll make, like, just, like, these little tiny rolls. And, um, I'll just roll them in the walls, and then I'll be, like, good. They say that it, um... Rises about two to three times. So they say they um, start there as, as a one inch disc um, or one large sub loaf and place onto a greased baking sheet. Bake for 55 minutes. Okay. So I'm just going to do rolls here. And he can use them for sandwiches or whatever if he wants. And, you get two to three times that size, so um oh, I'll put them there. And just keep rolling them out. And hopefully I'll make them all the same size kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. That's about the same thing. You just roll it out and then you stick it in the oven for um forty-five to 50 minutes for smaller shapes. Yeah. And then you'll have keto friendly um, sandwich roll. And this is your end result. Those are your keto friendly rolls.